morning everybody. I am Teacher Cha and I am here to share to you some basic rules in writing a research title. Okay, I already had a video with regards to how to write a research title. But then I didn't include any example of research title. Now this time, as I present to you the rules on how to write a research title, I am going to share to you also some research title. And then we're going to check kung okay na ba siya. Okay, let's first discuss the basic rules in writing a research title. Okay, most important kasi dito is yung capitalization. We tend to capitalize of what's not meant to be capitalized. Tapos yung dapat namang i-capitalize, hindi na eh, nakakapitalize. So, we are going to check on that. We should be mindful that the subject, the topic, the variables, the important details ng title mo, dapat nakakapitalize siya. Later, I am going to show you an example for that. Next, number two, we must avoid abbreviations. So, in writing a research title, dapat kumpleto siya. So, as what I have said, Dapat, pinaiksi natin, but then, let us avoid abbreviations. Okay? Next, let's move on to number 3. 10 to 15 substantive words. So, kailangan bibilangin natin yung ating mga words na included dun sa ating research title. So, dapat hindi siya mag -e exit sa 15 substantive words. So, let's not make our title too lengthy. So, concise and short and complete dapat. Next is grammar. Of course, importante ito. When we write our research title, make sure na dapat tama yung grammar na ginamit natin. Tama yung ating grammar. Next is accurate subject and scope. So, I already mentioned this. So, dapat nakikita at nakalatag doon sa ating title, ano nga ba ang ating topic? Tungkol saan at sino ang ating mga subjects? Of course, we must not forget the variables. Okay. I have here an example of a research title. But, please be mindful that when you try to have another research paper that is inspired by another, dapat huwag na huwag mong gagayahin yung exact na study niya. Of course, you are going to modify. If you are inspired by his or her study, kailangan pag-modify ka. Okay. Let's have this as an example. Causes of late submission of modules among the senior high school learners. So, of course, marami nang nag-study ng tungkol sa study na to, tungkol sa topic na to. Okay, dapat magmamodify. Kung you are inspired with this topic, with this title. Okay, now, let us first check the capitalization. So, yung mga subject na, I mean, yung mga importanting words, kailangan nakakapitalize. Let's check. Causes, late, submission, modules, senior high school learners. So, nakakapitalize because they are the keywords. Okay? The subject, the variables, our topic. Tapos, hindi na natin kinapitalize yung ating mga prepositions. Okay? Did you get it? Alright. Now, wala naman tayong kinawang abbreviation dito, di ba? And then next is, let's count the substantive words. Ilan nga ba silang lahat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, it didn't exceed the 15 substantive words. So, pumasok siya sa tamang number of words na makikita lamang dapat sa ating title. Next, the grammar. Okay naman siya. And then, meron tayong accurate subject and scope. So, yung ating scope, na ilatag natin. Okay. By the way, kung may mga title kasi akong nakita na the cause 
and effect of mga ganon. So, please be mindful, cause kong cause, effect kong effect. Because it will be hard on our part kapag dalawa yung pag-aaralan mo. Stick to one only. Okay? Did you get it? Alright. Let's move on to the next research title example. Okay. I have here the disadvantages of the new normal education system towards learners' mental health. So, very napapanahon pa din yung ating title. Because, as we all know, mental health is of a vital concern as of this time of pandemic. Okay? Moving on, let's try the capitalization. Okay ba? Okay? Yung mga importante na ating mga words ang ikakapitalize. Disadvantages, new, normal, education, system, learners, mental, and then health. So, wag na natin i-capitalize yung ating prepositions as what I have said earlier. Next, avoid abbreviations. Wala naman tayong ginawang abbreviation dito sa research title sample na ito. Next, 10 to 15 substantive words. Bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, swak, pasok siya. Okay. Next is grammar. So, okay naman ang grammar. Nag-stick lang tayo dun sa disadvantages. And we didn't include all yung ating advantages. Because, as what I have said, advantage kung advantage, disadvantage kung disadvantage. Next is, the accurate subject and scope. So, nailatag naman natin ng pagkainang ano lang yung ating scope, ano lang yung ating subject. Okay? Klaro? Alright. Let's move on to the next example. A research title example. So, maganda yung mga naipasa nilang research title proposal. Kasi, as what I have said, importante, napapanahon, makatutulong, relevant talaga siya. I just hope na hindi ginaya exactly yung mga research studies na nabasa. Bagkos ay imenodify ito. Okay? The impact of pandemic to the new normal classes. Okay, so sa klase, ano nga ba ang magiging impact nitong pandemya? Okay, let's try the capitalization check. Impact, pandemic, new, normal, as classes. Okay, excluding the capitalization ng ating mga prepositions. Avoid abbreviations. Hindi naman tayo nag-abbreviate. Check. 10 to 15 substantive words. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? Medyo nababasan lang ng isa dun sa standard number of substantive words. But it's okay. As long as complete yung kanyang detalye. And then maganda naman yung study. Okay. The grammar. Okay. So, check. Now, let's move on to the next one. We have disadvantages <clears throat> of mobile phones as a learning tool among learners. <clears throat> okay, disadvantages. Ang capitalization, i-check natin. D, capital D, mobile Phones, learning to learners. So, sila yung mga keywords natin, sila yung ikakapitalize natin. Okay? Avoid abbreviations, hindi tayo nag-abbreviate. 10 to 15 substantive words. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? Next, grammar. So, okay naman siya. Okay, pagkakalatag and we just stick to the disadvantages. Accurate subject and scope. So, among learners, learners ng particular school. So, doon na lang naman ito i-indicate sa ating scope.
scope and the limitation. Doon na lang tayo talaga mag-specify sinong mga learners. So, para dito sa title natin, as long as complete, as long as accurate, as long as klaro, sinong subject, okay naman. So, learners, doon na lang tayo sa scope and the limitation talaga mag-specify. Okay? So, we have here another title. So, magaganda yung mga title talaga nila. Effects of Students' Reliance of Answers to Technology. Okay. So, kalimitan sa ating mga learners, hindi na nagbabasa ng libro. So, more of surfing on the net na lang, di ba? So, ano nga ba ang epekto nito sa atin? Effects of students' reliance of answers to technology. So, let's try to check the capitalization. Okay naman siya. Effects, students, reliance, answers, technology. Nakakapitalize lahat yung ating mga keywords. For the other learners and other readers to be able to know what are the important words dito sa study na to. Grammar. So, check naman. And then, accurate subject and scope. So, students and sa technology. Okay? Then, we have the last one. So, I have here the impact of pandemic to the new normal classes. So, already parang may kapareho na siya but still, mentioned already, so okay naman yung numbers na, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So okay, capitalization, okay, grammar, okay, accurate subject and scope, okay. So, I hope that you were able to be lightened with some basic rules in writing a research title. So, let's review. We must be mindful of the capitalization. Let's capitalize those keywords. Next is, we must avoid abbreviations. Let's not abbreviate. Gawin natin formal yung pagsusulat ng ating title. Next is 10 to 15 substantive words. Huwag natin gawin too lengthy yung ating title. So, dapat accurate siya, concise, pero complete. Tapos, limited lang din yung number of words. Grammar, of course, importante ito para mahimok natin yung ating mga readers and other researchers na basahin yung ating study para makatulong tayo. Maka-inform tayo sa kanila na, ay, ganito pala. Next is accurate subject and scope, already mentioned. So, dapat sabihin natin at makita doon sa title natin pa lang kung tungkol saan at tungkol kanino yung ating study. Okay? I hope na next time, pag may magpacheck sa akin, yung mga importanteng keywords na nakapitalize na, tapos yung number of words, limited lang. Pero, make sure na nailatag nyo ng maayos yung kagandahan ng inyong research study. Yun lamang. I hope you learned something today. God bless you and thank you. Bye-bye. Keep safe.